Hello and welcome to Beyond the Headlines. I'm Hala Mohyuddin. China is starting to diversify its foreign reserves. What's been the general reaction to this incident? Looking for a job these days is no easy task. It is unlikely there will be other executions. Now, it may be known as the dragon, but China's most recognizable living mascot is the less fearsome giant panda. 600 billion yuan, that's 88 billion US dollars, making made in China products like sneakers and electronics more expensive. That's absolutely right, Tom. This is the inevitable consequence of a market economy. Till next time, bye bye. Bye bye. Coming up, we'll take a look at more scandal in the sporting world. And moving on now to the Beijing Youth Daily, where the main picture story here shows Premier Wen Jiabao. A startling upset now in the world of table tennis. A thief fakes a fit on the subway after getting caught. I'm Hal Monkadine. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. There's lots of talk on blogs, in the press and even on the streets as to why Avatar is only available in 3D versions. Much online comment also points to the film's theme of forced eviction. That's a politically sensitive topic in a country where evictions at the hands of unscrupulous property developers or local governments are a daily, if underreported, event. What was once known as the Kingdom of Bicycles has arguably become the Kingdom of Gridlock. With 800,000 new vehicles coming onto Beijing's roads in 2009, 80% of those being privately owned, the battle to empty cars and fill buses will not be an easy one. And as for 9 million bicycles in Beijing, perhaps not just yet. Hello, Mohyuddin, BON. For more on the World Meteorological Day, we cross over to Halamo Haiding from China Meteorological Administration. Well, that's right. The theme we have chosen this year is climate for you. When we study climate, we are basically looking at the average conditions uh, in a certain place at a certain period of time. Hello, Hala. Tell us the latest forecast for the prevailing wind. Well, fortunately, things do seem to be stabilizing. Now that that uh, cold front has moved out of the way, we've got this high-pressure system making its way into the area. We've got some warmer weather on the way. Lighter winds, like I say, and much drier conditions too. They have been dropping, but certainly over the next couple of days, the overnights are going to come close to the freezing marks of very uncomfortable conditions at night time. Wind speeds did pick up a bit, four to seven metres per second. It's not overly strong, but it's still quite gusty, helping to blow things away. And the winds are blowing in that northwesterly direction. Could the weather hamper the rescue and relief efforts? Yes, well, as this front moves in, the good news is it's stabilising the wind direction. The bad news, of course, is that this does bring uh, colder air, drops in temperatures, stronger wind speeds as well, and of course a chance of extra uh, rain or snow. A little further north to Fukushima now, we can see moderate strength rainfall at times there to date. That's going to fall asleep tomorrow. Thank you very much, Hala. Indeed, Hala Mohandin from the China Meteorological Centre. Good morning. Well, as that mass of cold air continues pushing southwards, we are going to see things clearing up considerably. Yeah, it looks not great, I'm afraid, for the national holiday tomorrow. Cold, wet weather for those of us up in the north and more of that continuous rainfall down in the south. As you can see, April, May, June is when we see the worst of that sandy weather. Lots of rainy weather in China this week, particularly yesterday. Fairly heavy rain landing down in the south. They usually receive 110 millimetres in the entire month of February. But in the past three days, that's hit over 350 millimetres millimetres of accumulated rainfall. Across Europe now, lovely ridge of high pressure here, which is going to stabilise things over the coming few days, but it will remain very, very windy across Japan for most of the weekend. Good evening. We are expecting a bit of a change in the weather come next week. Lots more cold air filtering down. Sunny skies across in Las Vegas, but a chance of showers down in LA. Bye-bye. Let's take a quick look at the summary of the weather for the second day of Christmas. And the weather will be, it'll be clear in Beijing, also clear in Shanghai, cloudy down in Guangzhou, cloudy in Kunming, and snow showers in Arunji. Merry Christmas.